Looking like some kind of alien cocoon that's landed on the remains of an ancient Neolithic site, this is the 14th annual Serpentine Pavilion, designed this year by Chilean architect Smiljan Radic. He's probably one of the least well-known architects to be chosen for this annual commission, but he's carved out a reputation in Chile for crafting buildings that revel in their material contrasts, using materials that feel very rough and hewn and massive, with kind of almost hand-woven, finely crafted, delicate elements. As you can see, he's done here this kind of papier-mâché object made out of fiberglass resting on 14-ton boulders. We've come to meet him to find out the story behind this strange object. Hi, how, how are you? Doing? How yeah, are you? good. So you've managed to take a material that's usually polished to an incredibly slick finish and give mm. it this very handmade feel. What's, mm. Why is that important? Four years ago I made a model that the, the name is uh, the John Selfish, Selfish Castle. And I made this model uh, with um, papier-mâché and with masking tape. And, and, and I said when, 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 when I began this project, I said, OK, let's go to try to reproduce this kind of texture and textile and the sensation of fabric in this kind of things, and that gives you a, another kind of sensation with the material, a, a different relation with yeah, it. Yeah. Mm. Well, should we go and have a look inside? Okay. Yes, <laughs> yeah. For sure. So you made this kind of torus shape, yeah, essentially torus, like a, yeah. a donut yeah, out of yeah. paper mache, and then were you kind of tearing you bits cut off? It, you cut it. You cut it, and then. And to obtain this kind of shapes in this in this big model, you have to apply some some patterns. And that pattern is a Buddha patterns, the pattern who magazine. And always we try to maintain this kind of handmade. Doesn't have to have a polish and shining uh, building. You know, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's more crude, and that is important. Were you keen that it was something that looked very alien to the context of Kensington Gardens? <laughs> normally the pavilions in the fair, in every place, normally they are... The, the, he, it's a sense, their essence are strange things, you know? They don't have to be normal, because if they are normal, they are not pavilion. The important thing is you have many relations in between the space, but you are in an interior space, but you don't feel in an interior space. And that, that is important for the park, because you have some views there, mm. some views there of the Serpentine Gallery, of the some trees, and you have some views here about mm. the street, and it's another part of the contest, and then from outside you see a volume really solid, really opaque, yeah. but inside you, f you feel the light inside and you feel the relation with the landscape really close, you know, a kind of refuge from outside, but inside you, you feel really comfortable because you have a, a lot of relation with the landscape. Mm. And then normally here you have a, a lot of layers from exterior to interior, you have on the walls, you have many, many layers to stop the humidity, um, temperature, etc., etc. Um, for us, it's more, the, the things are more in contact with the weathering in, in my country, are more thickness and fragile, and etc. And mm. then here I said, okay, what is the limit for this kind of material? And that was the, the challenge for the engineers. Does this is a kind of test for what might come next? Is there a project you're working on where, where you're trialing ideas in, in this pavilion? I don't know. This is a strange commission, you know. And this is a. I don't. I. I don't know if I could do it this again, you know, because it's all. Everything is special. The commission, the the site, uh, the 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 engineering, the 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 the, the producer. Everything is a special event, you know.